Father, we just praise your name. We bless you, God. We glorify your name. The name that is above every other name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, you be exalted this evening. You be glorified this evening. For your name the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, demons must tremble. Yeah, God. Father, we bless you this evening. We glorify your name. Hallelujah. And we say, come in, Holy Spirit. Come into this room of prayer. Come yeah. into this place of prayer, God. Yes, God. Come in, Holy Spirit, and abide in us. Abide in every viewer this evening. Yes, God. Abide in every intercessor this evening. Yes, Come in, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Let there be a bonding. Let there be a unity. Yes, God. Let there be a coming together of a mighty army of warriors, prayer warriors. Let yes. there be a coming together, Lord. Oh, yeah, Jesus. And Father, even now I call in the intercessors oh. of the Caribbean nations to awaken Yes. Lord, I call the intercessors of the nations of the world, England, London, China, New yes. Zealand, Australia, Costa Rica, Panama, New Zealand, Uganda, Nigeria, United States of America. I call the intercessors of the four corners of the earth to awaken this evening, God. Lord, let them hear. The cry of the Spirit, God. Yeah, God. In the mighty name of Jesus the Messiah. Amen. And uh, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome, intercessors all across the nations of the world. Welcome to the prayer room this evening. Hallelujah. The, place of prayer, the wailing room, the birthing room. The mm. room of deliverance, the room of travailing, the room of intercession, the place of prayer, the place of power, the yes. secret place. Welcome to the prayer room family of God. And I am Apostle Anna Edwards. And joining me in just a little while is a powerful intercessor of the Lord. One of my intercessors, a mighty prayer warrior woman of God, yeah. Apostle Ruth Mobley. All the way from reaching higher ministries of Florida in United States of America. Welcome to the program this evening, Apostle. Welcome to the prayer room, woman of God. Hallelujah. I am so excited to be a part of what God is doing and the nation at large. And I am excited to be joining with you and with intercessors around the world. I believe that there is a clarion call and God is calling us back to the altar. He's calling us back to seek his face. Glory to God. Nothing leaves heaven until prayer leaves the earth. And I believe that God is raising up intercessors worldwide that's going to weep between the porch and the altar and declare his will in the earth concerning the people of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And not just the people of God, but concerning the nations of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory I to God. Amen for you just uh, gathering these intercessors worldwide and what God is doing in your life and in your ministry. I believe that the highest call is the call to prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. And I believe that the most powerful people in the earth realm are people that are called to intercede. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
mighty God. Daniel says, they that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. And I believe if we're going to see the mighty exploits, glory to God, hallelujah, somebody, everybody, anybody, glory to God, has to get down, hallelujah, in the face of God and pray. Amen. Absolutely, woman of God. Listen, intercessors, right now, I want you to take a few minutes and just begin to share. Share this prayer room because I'm telling you, mm. we're, out, we're in a place of birthing. I have summons the midwives yes. from across the earth to Ooh. birth out a movement of intercessors. The um. Lord spoke to me while I was in my prayer room and he said, Anna, Call for the midwives, call yes. for the wailing women, call Woo. for the intercessors, call for the mothers of Zion, because heaven is birthing out the last move of God in the yes. earth. And this move of God will require a push in intercession, a push Woo. in prayer, a yes. push in holiness, a Woo. push righteousness scales are going to fall off of ice tonight yeah. i'm telling you death ears are going to be open we are awakening the seers we are awakening the intercessors we are awakening the prophets we are awakening Ooh. men and women of prayer across the four corners of the earth come on saints of god i need you to help us push this evening share this prayer room get in some intercessors on and begin to travail begin to travail i'm stirring up your spirit now too many intercessors have fallen asleep too many yeah. men and women of god have fallen asleep in the mm. place of prayer and the Ooh. bible says while men slept the enemy came in and yes. planted tears. But Ooh. there is a people of God that are awake. There is yes. a movement of prayer warriors that are sober. We are watching in prayer. We are travailing for the intercessors of the world. Yes. We are standing in prayer. The army of the Lord is strong and mighty in battle through the power of Jesus Christ. We're waking up intercessors. It is time to yes, awaken Lord. it is time to awaken man of god woman of god wake up this evening heaven is recruiting intercessors yes. heaven is calling for intercessors beloved of god wake up and see what is happening in the world today see what is happening in churches today many are sleeping yes, heaven Lord. is sounding the alarm mm. There is a trumpet that is blasting in the heavens. Yes. And it is only those that are awake and watching with spiritual eyes will see and will understand the clarion call. Go ahead, woman of God. Talk to us this evening. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Uh, the Bible says, amen, glory to God, in Jeremiah chapter 9. Hallelujah. In Jeremiah chapter 9, uh, verse number 17, the scripture says, hallelujah, thus said the Lord of hosts, consider ye and call for the morning women that they may come and send for cunning women that they may come and let them make haste and take up a wailing for us that our eyes may run down with tears and our eyelids gush out with the waters for a voice of veiling is heard out in Zion. How are we spoiled? We are greatly confounded because we have forsaken the land because our dwellings have cast us out. And I believe glory to God that there is a clarion call that God is calling the people of God back to our knees, back to the altar to cry out glory to God. I believe amen that the nations need our cry. I believe glory to God that the world at large need our cry. And, and my God, this is a call. Amen. Hallelujah of intercession. My God, hallelujah we can sing hallelujah we can preach hallelujah we can prophesy we can praise glory to God but God is calling us to prayer hallelujah my God in 2nd Chronicles 7 and 14 declares if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray 
my God, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then and only then I'll hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so, my God, what is prayer? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Prayer is our daily necessity. Amen. For daily triumph. If we're going to triumph, glory to God. Hallelujah. We need to get in a place of prayer. We need to get in a place of intercession. Amen. The book of Hebrews chapter 4 and 16 says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And God is calling us to a place of prayer. Jesus said, when you pray, not if you pray. And I believe, amen, glory to God, that we have a prayerless generation. And that's why we're seeing the calamities that's going on in the world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. God, Jesus told us, amen, about the end times. Amen. Earthquakes in diverse places. Amen. The end time, the abominations, the desolation about the end time, about the great falling away. And beloved, my God, we are living in perilous times. The scripture says that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Glory to God, we are in perilous times where men shall be lovers of themselves, heady, high-minded, boasters, truth breakers. Glory to God, hallelujah, disobedient, having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Glory to God, and I believe, amen, if we're going to see, amen, the face of our nations change. If we're going to see glory to God the face of our church is changed I believe glory to God that God is looking for intercessors that will rise up glory to God and grab a hold to the horns of the altar and pray my God beloved if we don't pray we will become the very prey of the enemy hallelujah glory to hey my God from Zion place of prayer intercession weeping crying out glory to God hallelujah and to the place where we slay giants hallelujah in the place of prayer glory to God he said I sought for a man among them that will stand in the gap and make up the head and I found none my God, hallelujah. But I believe, amen, that God, amen, is igniting, amen, the fires in his people. Glory to God that we're going to pray again. Hallelujah, my God, we're going to seek his face again. We're going, my God, hallelujah, to run after God again. Glory to God, prayer, my God, is the Father's invitation into the throne room. Glory to God, when we pray, hallelujah, we access heaven. When we pray, we communicate with God. When we pray, glory to God, and that's why the disciples amen they asked jesus they said teach us how to pray not teach us how to preach glory to god not teach us praise and worship my god but teach us how to pray and jesus told them to pray in this manner our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come your will be done in earth as it is in heaven if we're going to see the manifestation of heaven in the earth realm somebody has to pray glory to god God, hallelujah. Oh, beloved, today, my God from Zion, hallelujah, he says, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Listen, glory to God, except we pray, we will enter into temptation. My God, when Jesus was about to go to the cross, he, my God, hallelujah, he told Peter and the disciples, he said, watch and pray. My God, hallelujah. He came back and found out that they were asleep. Glory to God. And many of us are asleep. Our eyes are wide shut. My God, from Zion. But I believe, glory to God, that the Spirit of the Lord, I believe, my God, hallelujah, that the Spirit of the living God is quickening and awakening people back to the place of prayer. Oh, my God, Apostle Anna, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon us. He has anointed us to preach the gospel to the poor. To, oh, my God, hallelujah, my God, to set the captives free. Yes. Glory to God. To declare deliverance to the captives, the opening of the prison of them that are bound, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort those that mourn, to give unto them that mourn in Zion beauty for ashes, 
the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And I believe God is stirring, hallelujah, an awakening intercessors to pray. Glory to God, hallelujah. We'll see the nations come back to God when we begin to pray. We will see, amen, our children come back to God when we begin to pray. We will see the miracles that we read about when we begin to pray. Glory to God, hallelujah. I believe we'll see our churches, amen, fill again when we begin to pray. Glory to God, hallelujah. I believe that deliverance will take place when we begin to pray, that the altars will be filled again. People crying out, I yield, I yield. What must I do to be saved? Glory to God, hallelujah. It's time to pray. My God, whoo. Woo, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, glory to God. It's Woo. time to pray. It's time to pray. Intercessors of the Caribbean, of the world, of the yes. United States, Africa, Uganda, Nigeria, wherever you're viewing, it is time to pray. It is yes. time to return to the altar of prayer. And more importantly, it is time to rebuild your family altars. Yes. So many of us, we have a spirit of religion on us. Yes. We are like religious zombies. My God. We have Whew. one life in the church. And at home, we lead an entirely different life. Yes. There is no holiness. There is no sanctity in the family home anymore. Jesus. Family altars have broken down. Yes. And there is a cry in the spirit. Yes, Mother, Lord. I'm talking to single mothers right Ooh, now. That's mothers, you are crying for your children, but God is crying for a prayer altar. Yes. God is crying for you to rebuild a prayer altar in your home once again. Yes. He says, wake up. He says, wake up in the 5 a.m. hour and pray. Yes. You roll over and you pull your blankets. He Jesus. says, fast. I want you to fast today for me. You say, no, Lord, not today. I'll oh, fast on Sunday before I oh, go to oh, church. Jesus, my God. God is calling. Oh, he is calling. He is calling. Heaven is in lamentation for yeah. the sons and daughters oh. who are bound. They are bound because their mothers are not praying. This is a call for mothers to begin mm. to travail for their sons and daughters once again to yeah. be birthed out. Heaven is calling. Oh, Who is hearing? Who will answer this call this evening to pray? Jesus. Where are the intercessors who will carry the burdens of this generation? This generation is bombarded by so many distractions. Yes. Distractions on social media. Distractions in school. Yes. Distractions on their jobs. Yes. Distractions in the community. Jesus. Distractions all around. Satan has set up stumbling blocks in yes. the path of our sons and our daughters. Jesus. Mothers of God. The only way that those stumbling blocks can be destroyed is by the anointing of intercession. Hallelujah. The yoke is broken by the anointing. Yes. You need power to pray, woman of God. Oh, Jesus. Man of God, you need power to break the yokes. Yes. You need power to be to get on your knees and rebuild a prayer altar and cry out to God. You need power, yes. man of God. Hallelujah. You need power to be able to pray and to fast for your sons, for your daughters. Listen, heaven is calling. And who will answer this call this evening? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're in the delivery room this evening. And yes. I know your baby is sleeping. Because yes. we're midwives. We came here this evening as midwives to yes. birth you out into your place of prayer. Man of God, <laughs> woman of God, wherever you may be listening this broadcast, we're encouraging you, return to the altar of prayer. Return to the place of sacrifice once again. Return to your first love. You see, so many of us have over, we've been overcome by life situation. And I understand that. 
I understand. You have to pay your bills. You have to take your family members. Hey, Sometimes God. the enemy is coming and he's messing with your mind, with your emotions, with your intellect. I understand that. Jesus. I understand that the pressures of life can overtake you. Yes. But if it's one thing I do know, is that the people that do know their God, yes. they shall be strong and Woo. do it. God is looking for a people who will do exploits. He's looking for a people who will speak to the mountain and say, be thou removed and cast into the sea. And yes. the mountain will be removed. Jesus. Come on, saints of God, intercessors of God, you need to wake up now. Oh, it is yes. time to awaken. It is time to wake up. Yes. It is time to agree with God. Ooh, Jesus. God is looking for agreement. Yes. Nothing can move in the earth unless an, an intercessor agrees with God. Yes. Nothing moves on the earth until an intercessor partners with God. Jesus. Who will partner with heaven this evening? Come, intercessor. I'm calling you. I'm calling you. I'm calling you. Yes, I'm calling yes, you up. Yes. I'm calling you up. I'm calling you up to the high places of God. Who shall ascend into the mountain of prayer? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. Heaven is calling you up. Heaven is calling you up. He's calling you up. He's calling yes. you up yes. to the high places of God. You need to come up higher in your prayer life, man of God. Yes, yes. Woman of God. You need to come up. You need to come up. You need to come up now. You're Hallelujah. too low. You're too low. You need to come up to the high places Jesus. of God. Yes. Who will ascend? Who will ascend this evening? Oh, Who will ascend the mountain of prayer? Heaven is asking the question, who will ascend? Mm -hmm. Who will ascend into the mountain of the Lord? Hallelujah. Who is willing to cleanse their ways yes. from sin, from corruption, from yes. backbiting, from gossiping, from yes. lying, from fornication, from cheating, from yes. lust, from adultery? Yes. Who is willing to cleanse their heart? Hallelujah. Cleanse their hands. Wash your hands Jesus. in the blood of Jesus yes. so that you can come up to the yes. mountain of prayer. My God. Who will come up this evening? The voice of the midwives is ringing out an alarm this evening. Who will come up? Yes. Who will ascend the mountain of prayer this evening? Mm. Woman of God, it could be you. Yes. It could be your son. Hallelujah. It could be your daughter. Jesus. It could be your loved one. It could be your spouse, your husband. I believe it's you. You that are looking at this program, it is not by accident. Jesus. It is by divine appointment. Yes. But heaven is calling you up to ascend the mountain of prayer this evening. Yes, yes, It yes. is the place of victory. It is the place of power. Yes. It is the place where the membrane of your life will tear. Jesus. And you will begin to birth out the new you. Uh, the world is waiting for the new you. Yes. The world is waiting to hear your voice. Jesus. To hear you speak forth as the oracle of God. But you've yes. got to ascend. Man of God, woman of God, I'm, I'm pleading with you this evening. You've got to come up to the high places. Yes, yes, yes. Give up the ways of the world. Give up the lust of the flesh. Give yes. up the pride of life. Give up the foolishness now. It's time to put the foolishness down. Yes. So that you can ascend the mountain of the Lord. Go ahead, Apostle Ruth. Talk to the intercessors. This evening. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe that God is calling the intercessors to be able to stand in the gap for the nation, for the communities, for families. Amen. For children, for schools. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For ordinary people, for the preachers. Glory to God. The preachers, we need intercessors. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For our families, for our loved ones. 
I believe, amen, glory to God, that as we begin to pray, we superimpose the will of the Lord over and against the plans of the adversary. And God is calling us, glory to God, to a place of prayer, to the place of intercession. In Psalm 91, the scripture says, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he's my refuge, he's my fortress, my God in him I will trust surely he shall deliver me. I believe, glory to God, that we're going to see, amen, hallelujah, a massive move of God, amen, sweeping through the nations. I believe that revival is about to break out like never before. I believe, glory to God, that people are going to come to God like never before. Glory to God, hallelujah, and God is looking for a people that will pray. Hallelujah, glory to God, when we pray, hallelujah, we bring revival. My God, as we pray, making our requests known to the Lord. Hallelujah. We pray and it causes the manifestation of the will, the purpose, the promises of God to take place. Hallelujah. Not only in our lives, but in the lives of those that we are called to cover, those that we are called to pray for, those that we are called to birth into the kingdom, those that we are called. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. To intercede for and God is calling for a people to pray. Hallelujah. We are told to pray without ceasing. Amen. Glory to God. It is possible for us to pray without ceasing. Glory to God. In Luke chapter 18 and 1, Jesus said that men are always to pray and not to faint. Glory to God. Amen. Those that are fainting and falling by the wayside, it's time, amen, to wake up. Hallelujah. We come to resuscitate you. We come, my God, to revive you. We come, glory to God, to call you to wake up out of slumber. It's time to pray. It's time to seek God. God like never before. He says, glory to God, call unto me and I will answer you and I'll show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's time to seek God like never before. He said, if you, my God, seek me, I will be found of you when you seek me with your whole heart. And now God is calling for us to rent our heart and not our garments. But hallelujah, he's calling us to pray and to seek his face like never before. My God, beloved, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's yet near. Let the wicked forsake his wicked ways, the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return to the Lord our God. And he will abundantly pardon, my God. Hallelujah, God is calling us to the place of of prayer. Glory to God when Hannah was barren. My God when Hannah, glory to God, did not have. Hallelujah. When Hannah could not bear a seed. The Bible said that she began to pray. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes God will use adversity. My God to provoke us and to push us to a place of prayer. Amen. Hannah was provoked to produce. Amen. Day and night glory to God. Penina. She began glory to God. She began my God to mock her. My God, Hannah went to Shiloh. She went to the house of God year after year, but she was still barren. But Hannah got to a place where she said, hallelujah, enough is enough, and too much is too much. It's not until glory to God, hallelujah, you get to that place where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. And what Hannah did, she began to pray. Glory to God, hallelujah. Eli, hallelujah. Elkanah began to say, Hannah, and I'm better to you than ten sons. But Hannah needed some Something from God, hallelujah, that the flesh could not produce. And Hannah, glory to God, she began, hallelujah, to pray. My God, from Zion, the priest Eli, he, glory to God, mistaken her. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But Hannah, my God, she began to pray. Listen, when we go to pray, my God, everything is happening that's coming to distract us. The phone is ringing. Come on, notifications are hitting our phone. People are texting us. Glory to God, hallelujah. The children are crying. My God from Zion, listen to me, glory to God. Hallelujah, the most powerful people in the earth is not the president, baby. It's not the governor. It's not the councilman. Glory to God. But the most powerful people in the earth, glory to God, are people that know how to pray. My God. And God is calling, hallelujah, for the people of God, amen, to begin to pray again. My God from Zion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen to me, beloved. Hallelujah. In the book of Acts, listen to me. James was killed. Amen. Stephen was stoned to death. Hallelujah. And Peter was on the hit list. Peter was thrown into the prison. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We would not be reading about first and second Peter had not the church 
began to pray. Glory to God. But while Peter was in the prison, the Bible said, glory to God, that they began to pray night and day. And they released the angel of the Lord. The angel of the Lord was released to the prison to loose Peter from the prison. Glory to God. I believe that when we began to pray, that the prisoners, glory to God, are going to get free. Hallelujah. Not those that are just physically locked up, but those that are locked up in bondage. Those that are locked up in sin. Those that are locked up. My God. Hallelujah. Those that might. Hey, glory to God. Those, hallelujah, that are really going through. I believe, my God, from Zion, as we begin to pray, glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to see, amen. Hallelujah. Addictions broken. We're going to see, my God. Hallelujah. That lost son, that lost daughter come back home. We're going to see, my God. Hallelujah. Families restored. Marriages restored. People coming back to God. When the people of God began to pray, had not the church prayed, Peter would have been killed. Glory to God. He would have been assassin. And my God, we have too many. Hallelujah. People that are dying prematurely. Why? Because somebody refused to pray. But if we begin to pray... Hallelujah. I believe, glory to God, that my God, hallelujah, that the glory of God will be revealed in the lives of the people of God. And we will begin to see deliverance break out uh, like never before when people begin to pray again. Hallelujah. Listen, Anna stayed in the temple and she began to pray for the manifestation of the Messiah. Listen, glory to God. Sometimes your life don't look like the prophecy. But you've got to keep on praying. Glory to God. You've got to pray until you see what God has said concerning you. Glory to God. Somebody say, I'm about to get back to the place of prayer. I'm about to get back in intercession. I'm about to get back on my feet face. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm reminded of the psalmist in Psalm 42 that says, as the deer pants for the water brook, so my soul pants after you. The deep is calling for the deep. And God is saying, come deeper in prayer. Glory to God. No more surface prayers. I'm calling you deeper. I'm calling you to intercession. I'm calling you glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm calling you glory to God to the place. My God from Zion when we begin to seek God. Hallelujah. The psalmist says, early will I seek you. My God. In other words, seek the Lord before trouble hits. My God, hallelujah. Sometimes we find ourselves, the greatest time of our intercession is when we're in trouble, when we're sick in our bodies, when we're going through, when our marriage is in trouble. But early will I seek you. In other words, before trouble hits, I'm going to get on my face and pray. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the book of Job, we saw, amen, glory to God, how Job, apostle, how Job lost everything. How Job lost his children. He lost his cattle. He lost his, uh, glory to God, his she asses. He lost, amen, everything. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God from Zion. And Job friends came. Hallelujah. And they looked at Job like, Job, you have to have done something for all this calamity. Job began to worship. Job began Begin to curse the day that he was born. My God from Zion. Job, my God, even, hallelujah, when, when the boils came on Job's body, Job's wife looked at him and said, curse God and die. But Job, I believe Job began to say, why should I curse God and die when I can bless him and live? But beloved, what I'm saying, the very thing, glory to God, hallelujah, that Job knew to do is the thing that he didn't do. The scripture said that every day Job made intercession and sacrifice for his children. But when Job got in a calamity, the very thing that Job needed to do is the thing that he did not do. And we read in chapter 42 of Job that God turned the captivity of Job when he prayed. Job had worshiped. Job had, my God, cursed the day he was born. Job, glory to God, sit, stood in silence. Job, my God, listen, Job did everything but pray. I believe that we're going to see the captivity change and turn when we begin to pray. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If we raise intercessions, I believe, glory to God, that gunmen will not be able to just walk in our schools and assassinate our, the next generation. The enemy is trying to kill and destroy the next generation. Glory to God. It's just as the spirit of Pharaoh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When the deliverer, hallelujah, was coming forth, Pharaoh had an indication that a deliverer was about to be born. And he said a decree, my God, to kill the young people, to kill the, the baby, the children of the Israelites.
life. Glory to God. The same way when Jesus was coming, my God, to the earth realm, the spirit of Herod sought to destroy Jesus. Glory to God. But I believe, my God, that if we begin to pray again, we can abort the plans of the adversary. We can, my God, declare a miscarriage into satanic wombs and incubators that the plans of the enemy will backfire. When we begin to pray, pray, glory to God, hallelujah, as we begin to pray, I believe that the will of God shall be made manifest in the earth realm. Prayer does not just change things, but prayer changes people, glory to God, hallelujah. If we want to see change, we've got to see it in the realm of prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God and Apostle Anna, I appreciate this clarion call to pray. Glory to God. I appreciate my God. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God. I appreciate this call. Amen. To prayer and to intercession, not just surface prayer. We've got to see the manifestation and the creation is waiting for the manifestation of the true sons and daughters of God. The earth is groaning for us. The earth is moaning for people that will pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That the kingdom of God will come and the will of God will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. My God, it's time to pray, beloved. It's time to pray. My God, hallelujah. And God is calling for intercessors, both men and women are at large to pray. Glory to God, hallelujah. Listen, beloved, glory to God, hallelujah. Before, my God, before the angel of the Lord, watch this, before the angel of the Lord, glory to God, came and made the announcement to Mary. Glory to God. Listen to me. Zachariah was in the temple and he was praying. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I said he was in the place of prayer. My God from Zion. Hallelujah. He prayed. My God until his barren wife Elizabeth became fruitful to bring forth the forerunner named John the Baptist. And I believe glory to God before the coming of the Lord that God is raising up forerunners that's going to pray. Woo! My God from Zion. Hallelujah. We're going to pray again. Oh, hallelujah. My God from Zion. And they stayed in the temple and prayed. Hallelujah. Until the coming of Messiah. Listen to me. Jesus is coming soon. Morning or night or noon. Many will meet their doom. Glory to God. The trump's about to sound. The dead in Christ are getting ready to rise first. Then we which are alive and remain. Glory to God. Until the coming of the Lord shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But it's time for us to pray. My God. Beloved, listen to me. The church at large is not ready for the coming of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God. Listen to me. There has to be a revival that must take place. Glory to God to change our hearts again. My God. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Hallelujah. We are hungry for everything else. But glory to God. God is stirring in us a hunger for his presence. A hunger for prayer. My God. Hallelujah. It's time to pray again. Oh, glory to God. Listen, people of God, intercessor, wherever you are listening, it is time to pray. It is time to pray. It is time to wake up from yes. slumber. We have been in a position of slumber for too long. And I know some people say, well, since my grandmother has been alive, I've been hearing Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Well, guess what? Jesus is truly coming. He's yes. coming. He's coming again. He's coming for a people that are ready. He is coming for a people that are praying. He is yes. coming for his bride, beloved. He is yes. coming for a bride that is without Jesus. spot and without wrinkle. We are calling you. We are awakening intercessors to oh. wake up and begin to push. You have to push in prayer. Yes. Heaven is waiting on the great final push so that we can bring forth this final great awakening in every Ooh. nation of the world. There yes. is a rumbling. There is a tumbling. The earth is in travail. Yes. There is a moaning. There is a groaning in the spirit. And yes. God is saying, where are my intercessors Ooh. who will push in prayer? God 
one is saying, where are my intercessors who will travail until heaven's water bag bursts? The water is about to break. And God yeah. is saying, pray, man of God. Pray, woman of God. Yeah. God is calling pastors to lead the army of prayer warriors in your church once again. Too long has your church intercessors gone cold. They have gone dry. And God is saying, man of God, you are the leader of those intercessors. You are the leader, woman of God. Return to the place of prayer and lead your intercessors once again. Lead them in the place of prayer. Lead them in spiritual warfare. Lead them in prayer of lamentation. Lead them in prayers of thanksgiving. The church is on the burden stool. Who will push who will prevail in prayer Hallelujah. who will intercede in prayer yes. the church is on the burden stool family of god heaven's water bag is about to break yes, who god. will travail who will pray again Jesus. who will fast again yes. god is saying man of god come back come back come back oh. come back to the place of prayer come back to the place of intercession Come back to the altar of prayer, woman of God. Yes. We're not here. We're not here to condemn anyone, but we're here to show you the state of the church. Yes. Apostle Ruth said, "The church is not ready. They are not ready for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ." Jesus, how sad is that? How sad is that mm. that we embrace? The Laodicean church over the true, the true disciples of Jesus Christ. We embrace and we run after all sorts of false doctrine with itching ears. Mm. God is saying today, repent. God is calling the church to repent. Yes, God. Let's repent of our wicked ways. Hallelujah. Repent of our evil ways. Jesus. Let us repent of putting Jesus on a back seat. Oh, and promoting intellectuality. This gospel is pure. This gospel is still sound yeah. doctrine. Yeah. It doesn't need to be diluted. It does not need to be watered down to save anyone. Jesus preached this gospel and yeah. he saved multitudes of souls. And Hallelujah. so must you. Preach the whole counsel of God. Yes. Man of God, woman of God, the Bible says, what is the conclusion of the whole matter? Jesus. Fear God and keep his commandments. Yes, Jesus. The church has lost the fear of God today. Yes. And the only way that we can find ourselves back on the threshing floor is when we get a good Holy Ghost awakening. Yes. Many of us need an awakening in our prayer lives. We need an awakening in our departments. The usher's board needs awakening. Yes. The deacon board, they need awakening. Hallelujah. The pastor's aid boards, they need awakening. Yes. The choirs, they need awakening. The worshippers, they need awakening. Come on, people of God. God is calling the church back on their knees. Yes. Back on their knees in prayer. Why is it? That the human being always has to burn to learn. Mm, my God. Heaven is sounding an alarm this evening. And we're calling back the intercessors to pray. We're awakening a people of intercession all across the nations of the world. Wake up, men and women of God. Intercessors, see us, prophets, wake up and return to the place of prayer. Wake up in the 5 a.m. hour, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., during the day, evening prayer, midnight prayer, whatever your time of prayer is, wake up. Yes. You don't have to imitate anyone no. or try to be like anyone because God is interested in the affairs of nations. Yes. And that is why we have so many different people we have so many different cultures. We have so many different uh, real patterns of life and walks of life. So many different faces. Just as our faces differ, our ways differ, our needs differ. God does not want any intercessor to try to be like anyone else. Be yourself. Yes. Pray in the way that God has 
called you to pray. And as you begin to yield yourself, he will add to your prayer life. He will add fire. He will add the anointing. He will add prayer partners. He will give you new tongues. He will give you spiritual discernment. He will give you more gifts of the spirit. Yes. You don't have to try to be like anyone else. Family of God, we're calling the church back to pray. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Yield your spirit. This requires Apostle Ruth. This type of intercession I'm talking about, it requires a yielding of the spirit. Yes, yes, yes. It requires you setting yourself apart in prayer. Yes. I'm talking to you right now, intercessor. There are some friends you need to totally cut off. There are some numbers on your cell phone you need to totally delete it. Yes. The minute this broadcast is over, delete it. Yes. There are some people you need to delete off of your social media platforms immediately. Yes. There are some places you need to stop going to. There are some phone calls you need to stop taking. Yes. Come on. I'm talking to the intercessors that are really called to birth out this final awakening in the nations. You see, you cannot be an intercessor called to the mountain of prayer. And you still want to be friends with the world. It cannot work. It cannot work. Jesus. You must choose today. You must choose your circle of influence. Uh You must choose today to spend time with God and God alone. Yes. Because God is birthing. The church is on the birthing stool, family. Yes. The church is on the birthing stool. The intercessors are needed to push this next move of God out in prayer because the church is about to bring forth. Yes. And we're calling intercessors. Heaven is recruiting intercessors. Will you pray? Will you partner with God? Will you partner with this next move of intercession? Jesus. Woman of God, there is no more time left. We are out of time. We are out of time, family of God. Every prophecy that is written in the book of Revelation concerning the end times have already come to pass. We are in the final hour. We are in the last great move of God. Yes. And God is requiring that you wake up now. Yes. It is time to wake up. It is time to wake up and sober up. Ah. It is time to get sober and get prepared for the coming of the Lord. You have cousins that need to be saved and we're playing games. You have mothers and fathers that need to be saved and you're still playing church politics. Come on. (laughs) When will the church come into maturity? When? You've got family members that need to be saved. And you are the intercessor. You are that intercessor to birth them out in prayer. Yes. You are that intercessor. Oh, hallelujah. Satan has skillfully released demons of mass destruction Mm. against every true church that is called to bring forth revival. Let me just talk to the churches that are called to bring forth revival. Yes. Pastor, if your church is a true church of God where you are preaching the true gospel, you are preaching salvation, you are calling sinners to repentance, Yes. you are standing for truth and you're standing against the systems of this world, then you need a core group of intercessors. Yes. Pastor, you need to be surrounded with a company of intercessors who can pray, who can travail, who can wail, who can watch your back in prayer. Yes, Jesus. Because the devil is against every revival church in this last hour. Yes, yes. Open your eyes and look around even in your community, in the, in the, in the, in the nations of the world. And the number of churches that are closing down today, they are shutting down for whatever reason. But the number one reason is the devil 
is taking them out one by one. Jesus. By one. My God. Because somebody fell asleep on the wall of prayer. My God. Pastor, don't let that be you. Woman of God, don't let that be you. Don't fall asleep on the wall of prayer. If you are called to bring forth a revival in your city, in your community, you need to begin to disciple a company of strong prayer warriors who yes. can pray and who actually take prayer seriously. Yes. Prayer should not be five minutes before the service. It should not be ten minutes before your service begins. Prayer should be all night long. Friday night in your house of prayer. You should have all night prayer. Prayer warriors. Praying. Intercepting the forces of darkness. Jesus. Overturning the seats of Satan. Dismantling yes. demonic wounds. Dismantling yes. the demonic eggs that have been hatching by Satan agents that hate your church. You say we don't understand. We don't understand Ooh. that we're fighting a real devil. And he's after the true church of God. Yes. He's after the pastor. He's after the pastor's wife. He's yes. after the pastor's children. Ooh. Come on woman of God. You got to do better than that. You got to pull your intercessors together and yes. tell them, listen, we got to pray, we got to pray, we got to pray. For the sake of your son, for the sake of your daughters, you got to pray. Yes. You got to pray. You got to put aside some agendas now. You got to put aside some programs now yes. and implement programs of prayer. Yes. Implement times of intercession. Jesus. implement seasons of travailing come oh. on god is calling the church back to a season of travailing and wailing yes. the travailing room is the birthing room yes. the travailing room is the place where you will birth out your next move man of god hey, there's god. no other way there's no other way to birth out this next move of god in your life and in your region and so you got some devils to overturn. You've yes. got some demonic traps to dismantle. Come on, you got yes. work to do. Yes. I said you got work to do. I yes. said you got work to do. You got work to do, man of God. Yes. You're yes. sleeping on the prayer walls too long. Wake up and see what is happening. You got some demonic eggs to destroy by Holy Ghost fire. You got some Jezebels the cast out of your church. Come on, you've got to dismantle Leviathan. He's slipping in. He's slipping yes. in. You've got to wake up now and look with spiritual eyes. Yes. Come on, people of God. God is calling the church to awaken. Heaven is calling the intercessors to wake Hallelujah. up. Heaven is calling first ladies to wake up. Yes. First ladies, you are the ones to lead the women of God in prayer. Mm -hmm. Where is the first ladies that will pray? Yes. Where are the first ladies who will lead prayer rooms once again? Where are the first ladies who is no longer interested in outward appearance, but are interested in holiness and righteousness? Yes. yes. God is calling the first ladies once again to teach the younger woman how to dress. Teach yes. the younger woman how to conduct themselves in church. Yes. God is calling first ladies to come. Come away and spend time with me in the secret place. I will teach you all that you need to know. Yes. He's saying, come, 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 come. If you would only come, come out and spend time with me. Oh Let me teach you. Uh, yeah. Let me love you again. Yes. I know the office of a first lady is hard. And I know sometimes you may be going through so much pain, so yes. much hurt because the enemy is attacking the offices of the pastor, of your husband. He's attacking you. But listen, that's no reason to throw in the towel and give up. Uh, hallelujah. I'm encouraging you today. You got to fight. Yes. I'm encouraging you. You got to fight. You got to fight in prayer. You yes. got to fight in intercession. Yes. You got to fight in fasting. Yes. You got to fight and surround yourself with a company of intercessors. Yes. Who will pray? Who will pray? God is asking the question. Who will pray this evening? Hallelujah. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back to the threshing floor. Mm. Daughters of Zion need discipline. 
Yes. Let the elderly woman teach the younger woman oh, how to conduct themselves in prayer once again. Yes. Come on, people of God, we've got work to do. We've got work to do. The Bible says, occupy until he comes. Yes. And so we have to occupy. We've got territories to take. Yes. We've got companies of intercessors to raise up. We've yes. got seers to disciple. We've got yes. schools of prophets the bird come on we've yes. got we've got prayer conferences to keep come on we've got work to do for the lord but it, it will only come in intercession yes i Jesus. encourage you today wake up come back to the place of prayer Hallelujah. apostle ruth is going to pray at this time and then i'm going to pray and then we're going to end this program stay with us receive Hallelujah. this prayer as the woman of god prays over the nation Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we call upon you. You said call unto you and you will answer us. And you will show us great and mighty things which we do not know. And Father, we call, oh God, upon you, oh God. Hallelujah. We pray for revival around the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now for raising up intercessors and prayer warriors. Hallelujah. Glory to God that will dismantle the works of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare, hallelujah, that the plans of the adversary shall be backfire. It shall boomerang. It shall ricochet. God, we cover oh God, intercessors. God, we cover oh God, the apostles, the prophets, the pastors, the evangelists, the teachers, the body of Christ, the bishops. God, we, we cover oh God, hallelujah, the intercessors, those that are called to weep between the porch and the altar. God, we cover this nation. God, we release the power of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now for stirring us up to seek you like never before. We thank you for giving us your seat back, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now, God, hallelujah. And God, we declare, hallelujah, glory to God that the plans of the enemy is hijacked right now. God, we hijack terrorists now. In the name of Jesus, we dismantle the works of the adversary. God, we pray and we intercede. God, for the body of Christ at large. God, we intercede for souls. We call souls into the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus, your word declare that since the days of John the Baptist until now, that the kingdom of heaven suffer violent and the violent take by force and right now in the name of jesus we pray for souls to be revived we pray for souls to be set free we pray for souls to be saved and delivered in the name of jesus god we lift up every pastor every leader god we lift the prayer covering around this nation god we pray a hedge of protection one that the enemy will not penetrate in the name of jesus god we cover children in the schools god we cover marriages husbands and wives god children families in the name of jesus god we pray for the presidents god we pray for the governors god we pray for the senators in the name of jesus god we pray for kings oh god hallelujah glory to god god we cover oh god the police force in the name of jesus oh father god we pray oh god a press shield hallelujah in the name of jesus god we decree right now and we declare that the kingdom of god may come and the will of god is done in the earth as it is in heaven god we speak right now hallelujah oh glory to god we superimpose the will of the god the will of the lord over and against the plans of the enemy oh god we decree right now that the plans of the adversary is annihilated they are assassinated we nullify and veto diabolical assignments oh god we declare that every spirit of sabotage in the name of jesus is dismantled right now we bind and rebuke spirits of jezebel hallelujah athaliah korah absalom in the name of jesus Hallelujah, glory to God. We command the enemy to scatter by fire. We release the fire of God in the name of Jesus. God, we declare fire back upon the altars, the altars in our homes, the altars in the church. God, we declare that the altars shall be rebuilt in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you right now. We rebuke witchcraft. We rebuke witches and warlocks. Hallelujah, we declare, hallelujah, a global repentance around the world, around the nations in the name of Jesus. We declare that intercessors are arising from the four corners of
of sickness and infirmity. And we declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Those that are having financial setbacks, we declare, hallelujah, be free right now from poverty. Be free from bondage in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the will of the Lord be established over your life. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you right now. Hallelujah. For massive salvation, massive deliverance. We thank you for massive healing, massive breakthrough. We thank you, God, that we got the victory in the name of Jesus. We pray for our children. Let revival break out in our homes, in our churches. God, on the job, wherever we go, let revival break out. Hallelujah. In the nations of the world. And we thank you in advance for doing it. God, we decree and we declare right now. Hallelujah. We stand in the gap and we make up the head and we declare deliverance. This is our season. This is our hour. This is the hour of intercession. And we thank you right now for it. In Jesus' mighty name, Spirit of the living God, move around the nation. Move upon each one that's watching this broadcast. Hallelujah. Anoint us afresh in the name of Jesus. We declare that the Spirit of the Lord is upon the people of God. That the Spirit of counsel, the Spirit of might, the Spirit of knowledge, the Spirit of wisdom, the Spirit of understanding, and the Spirit of the fear of the Lord is upon the people of God. We are of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. Righteousness is the girdle of our loins. Faithfulness is the girdle of our reign. Thank you for doing a new thing in our lives. Hallelujah. We thank you right now, Daddy. And we give you praise for it in Jesus' mighty name. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey. Father, we just thank you even now for all of the intercessors that are watching. We decree and declare heaven has heard this prayer. Heaven is answering this prayer. We bless you. We bless your family. We bless your church. We bless your sons. We bless your daughters. We bless your loved ones. We bless the churches of the nations of the earth. And we decree and declare that the army of the Lord is waking up. The army of the Lord is waking up. The army the army of the Lord is waking up. We are awake. We are sober. We are watching. We are building up the hedge. Yes, Father, we thank you. We praise you. We you, magnify God. your name. We glorify your name. And we bless you. Heaven has answered our prayer. The Lord bless you, everyone. Thank you for being with us. Have a wonderful evening. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Love you, Apostle. Bless Love you, you, Apostle. Love you, my sister. God bless you. Amen.